Hi, I'm Rebecca from Southwest Exteriors and welcome to the Home Solutions channel. Repainting your home's exterior may seem like a small project. You may think, it can't cost that much, right? Like how much could it cost to paint my home? Well, the truth is, like any home renovation, exterior painting is an investment. So today, we're gonna talk about how much exterior painting costs and what goes into the cost as well. To paint your San Antonio home in 2023, the starting cost is around $2,000 for a DIY or handyman project. For a high quality, professional exterior paint project, starting cost is around 11,000 for 2,000 square feet of painting. Like with any home improvement project, many components make up the cost. For an exterior painting project, you must consider the square footage of your home, the type of siding you have, the condition of your siding, the degree of difficulty, and the quality of the contractor for your project. For more detailed information on these factors, be sure to check out the article linked in the description. When looking to get your exterior painted, the cost will be affected by the linear square footage of the project area. But the project's total square footage is not just the sidewall, but any other areas you wanna be painted, including the soffit, fascia, and even the area around and underneath the gutters of your home. Overall, the more square footage and areas you want painted, the more your project will cost. Some types of siding require special treatment for the paint to come out properly and of high quality. For example, older stucco or certain types of wood might absorb some paint, making it so you need to apply more coats to reach the correct shade. The more coats of paint needed to complete the project, the more it will add to your cost. The worse the condition of the siding, the more it will cost to paint over or possibly repair. For example, if your siding has areas that contain rot or damage, those areas will need to be repaired before they can be painted. Simply put, if your siding is in great condition and does not need repairs, it will cost less than siding that needs patchwork or repairing. Difficult areas can be defined as anywhere where extra labor is required. For example, extremely high areas like second or third stories and small nooks and crannies that are hard to reach will add to the degree of difficulty. This adds to the cost because the labor required to paint these areas puts the painters in situations of greater danger or takes an extra amount of time and effort to paint. Darker paint colors require more coats in order to get them to their true color. Sometimes the primer will also have to be tinted to aid the coloration of the paint. This means extra labor is required, which means extra cost to your project. A low quality, less expensive painter will cost significantly less than a high quality and high dollar contractor. However, what you pay for your project is typically what you get. Now, there are three things you wanna know when choosing a painter. They are what type of paint they use, how they apply the paint, and what type of warranty they offer. These are all factors that will help you determine what you can expect from your exterior painting project. Although painting your home's exterior may seem like a small project, it is still a large investment in your home. Whether you plan to paint your home's exterior yourself, hire a neighborhood handyman, or work with a professional contractor, remember the six factors we just talked about so you can be sure to get the most out of your project. Now, we understand creating a budget for any home remodeling project can be difficult. Where do you start? How do I even create the right budget for myself? Well, linked above is an article that will outline five steps to create the right budget for your exterior paint project. Thank you so much for stopping by the Home Solutions channel where we want you to have the look you love coming home to. 